Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here, and today I'm going to do the second episode in the Super Factory build. Now, I must admit, it's taken me a while to get round to this video, simply because, well, there are two reasons. First, the new Division DLC came out, so I was doing a bit on that. But also, um, I've spent seven hours rebuilding this four times and, and never been actually happy with it. So I'm going to show you, uh, I'm finally getting happy. We, we've started doing a bit of decorating, which means that uh, we're starting to, to bring it all together. It's not quite finished yet. have no idea why this is open. Mm. Okay, let's try and sort that out first. Must have... Okay, there we are. Must have accidentally tripped that. Anyway, we come into our lovely base, and as you can see, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go the shortcut way. Uh, I will show you all the builds that we've done, and I will also go into things in more detail in separate videos. But this is just going to be a glance of how it's all gone. Um, I eventually decided to build a vacuum hopper, which sent everything up to the top floor. Um, and we also have this lovely lift, couldn't place it down here because of the, I think it's the water, the water wouldn't let me. But anyway, we, we've <laughs> changed the layout again, you'll see in the last video I had this being built. Basically, um, it didn't work very well, it was very claustrophobic, so I decided to just open, open it up. So everything that we get built gets sent down here and no, I have not created a cloaking shadow metal left leg. That is just from uh, the conveyor belts working. Um, here we have the wall we placed. These through the walls and then connected everything up. I couldn't get it to work at first. I don't know what was happening. Um, everything should have worked. Um, but it wasn't and then I figured out you also need a, another generator to connect it all up to create the second power um, connector. I'd like to hide this at some point but I haven't yet had a chance. Also uh, notice how I've extended everything out. Um, there are still bits being left behind. This is actually a part of a new build. Um, I've been developing a new hopper system and it works wonderfully well. I'm going to remove them because that's just going to annoy me. It works wonderfully well, I'm saying. When it wants to. Okay, we're going to do that later. But I will actually do a video on how the hopper system works. Uh, it's using the concrete blocks and showing you how to set it up because you can't do it some ways and other ways you can. Um, here you can see everything that gets sent down. Still working on this. Um, unfortunately, it gets very hectic. But this is the most spacious build I've had uh, done so far. Uh, I ended up doing, as I said, three, four builds, and it. J oh god, how do I get out of this again? There we go. Ended up doing several builds, and each one just got so claustrophobic, you'll see them. to a point where I couldn't actually move around, whereas this is so spacious, I don't know what to do with the rest of the stuff. But, instead of it just being a work ha uh, a factory, it, everything starts off on the top floor, so we'll go straight up. This is the lift that everything gets sent up from that vacuum hopper, and it gets sent to here. And why are you there? Um, 
Yes, it's not perfect. Weapons, I actually think that's from a previous, um, yeah, I think that's from the previous build. I just haven't cleaned up. Uh, one thing that is annoying is the circuitry. If I send it around, you'll see it will get stuck somewhere along. But here we have the new system. I decided it would be much more efficient just to have the recycling the recyclers next to the um, sorters and then have them sent down. Oh, I need to sort that out. That is why I switched the system on. It was working full time. But as you can see, everything gets sent to these, and then depending on what items they are, they get assorted. Now at first I didn't realise you could put two items in one component sorter, which is what I've done here. So this is for the special ammunition um, builder. We have copper and lead being sent down so I can develop certain ammunition. Um, these aren't connected to power, which is why it's not working currently, unfortunately. Um, and then we also have plastic, um, ballistic and leather so that we can... This is a waste. That's where everything else goes that's not being used. <laughs> Look at all that. Um, all the leather ballistic fibers go through here so that we can build armor. Uh, as you can see, this has done a brilliant job at holding everything. I wanted it so that nothing fell off. I've got a feeling we'll lose a few bits once I actually bring, bring it all up. Falling down here. Oh shoot. Um, do, 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 do. We need to get into building mode, don't we? There we are. And here I will show you the second floor. Just gonna bring it down here. So everything gets filtered down. To, through these hoppers which are brilliant really efficient actually and so I'll show you how I built them uh, you can't do them as easily as I hoped you have to there's a little trick to doing it but as you can see down here we have everything sent off and it actually works pretty um, well in terms of space so here we have the steel that's sent down and this is split off is it steel, sorry, is this one copper? Hmm, don't know why all that's there. Hmm. Okay, so, there are a few things I need to sort out. But, we have steel which is sent off down here and split off into two sections. So, down here is where the explosives are being built, down here is where the ammunition is being constructed, and you see everything feeds into the right hoppers. Uh, we also have a third um, steel section which is going to connect with this at some point. Uh, that's simply so that we can build um, armour. The armour forge, which then gets sent off down into the hopper which feeds straight to uh, the place down here which leads back to the base, um, back to the sorter. I like how all this is looking. Um, we have everything split off, everything that isn't used or anything that I want to be used for something else. If my factory isn't um, sorted to build a particular item, I can actually send everything off into this and that will lead to another um, construction unit downstairs eventually. I haven't built it yet. Oh, we need to get off at the stop. No, oh, and I can't control my... And back up. Everything will be sent to the, the bottom to be um, manufactured as something else. Here we have the ammunition being constructed and the explosives mill. Now I've got two ammunition mills just because I go through a lot of ammunition it makes sense to double the capacity. Um, everything gets sent 
Okay, that's interesting. I've got a wall through. I might write still. Okay, so what I need to do here, now that we've already got a concrete slab, we can actually continue building, or we should be able to. So what I'm going to do is just build across. Again, this is this whole process is trial and error, but it's getting there, and that's that's the important thing. It's not quite working conditions, but we're, we're getting there. We've got the funnels being built either side, so it actually looks like a factory. Um, what do we want here? I'm just gonna place some floorboards down. I'll do for now but everything now gets sent down into this so that's where the armor comes down uh, all the ammunition gets sent down to there as well no the ammunition gets sent to here what am I on about which then and the same with the explosives very dangerous all get dropped into here and funnel back to here so I'll have all the buttons down here to sort everything out, but I'm pretty chuffed with how it's going at the moment, and soon enough it will be complete. Give it another four rebuilds. <laughs> um, but then we will go on to also how we can uh, decorate it to make it look like a proper factory, and uh, I will also go into specific detail how we built the, uh, the hoppers, for example, um, how I organize stuff, any questions that you have, do let me know in the comment section below and I will um, try to sort, sort them out um, and answer your questions. Earlier on I got asked about doing a XOR gate video. I will get round to doing one. I'm going to hopefully do it within the next couple of weeks. I'm just very busy with it being the lead up to Christmas and my work. Um, so as soon as I do get a chance, I will do that. If you did like this video or found it helpful, um, which you probably won't find it helpful, but if you like it, certainly do drop a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.